In multiple linear regression, you have a model that looks like this instead of simple linear regression. You've got some slope, call it b sub 1, that multiplies to x sub 1. And then there's another one. You get to have a second column of data, call it that second column x sub 2, and you can keep going as many as you want. You could have like 10 columns of data trying to help predict for one column of y values. And then there's still that error term. Okay, so multiple linear regression, the number of predictive variables can be greater than the number of data points. Um, so actually, that's frowned upon. Um, that would be, that's called overfitting. So you, you don't want to have more X values than you have data points. So let's say we've got a data set looks like this. Okay, so you get X sub 1 equals 5, X sub 2 equals 4, X sub 3 equals 9. And then you got Y equals 2. You're trying to predict for some Y value. You can make up whatever number you want. Maybe Y is like likability score on some website. And then you've got another set of data. And you're like, okay, I'm going to use this to predict the likability, to predict why. That won't work. Look, you've got more, you've got three predictor variables, but only two sets of data. You've got this set and this set. Okay. If you try to even make the calculation, something's going to go wrong. So you can't have more X values, X columns, than you have points of data, so collections of data, like those two boxes I just made. There's a limit to four predictive variables? No. In multiple linear regression, you can have as many as you want. With image processing, uh, with, with image prediction, I should say, image classification, um, you've got thousands and thousands of X variables, okay? Because sometimes every pixel is an X variable. The number of predictive variables should be determined by the model being tested. Uh, yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah, the number of predictive variables should be determined. This this sounds like this is just saying that, hey, however many X values you choose depends on what you're trying to what you're trying to predict for. Right? You if you're trying to predict uh something complicated like uh somebody's opinion on a movie, you're probably gonna need tons of different variables in that on each person, you know, um their economic status, their age, lots of different things. But if you're trying to predict something like um the boiling point of a liquid, you probably only need to know a few chemical properties, basically, and you can get a good prediction. So it depends on what you're trying to predict. So this is right. All the predictive variables should be positive. No, you can have negative ones and positive ones. They can mix together. This could be negative and this could be positive. Multiple linear regression, there are coefficients for all the X terms in the intercept of the model. Yep, that's what I was putting up here. Okay, these are the coefficients. And then you've got... Uh, y-intercept, or a coefficient that doesn't have an x attached to it. So yes, that's true. Um, okay, so that's right. Let's see why the other ones are wrong. Uh, this is wrong because we said there is that coefficient down here for the intercept. There are coefficients for all the terms in the models. I mean, that's true, too. I guess it's just missing the intercept as well. So I don't know. That's a tricky one. That's true. The coefficient for the error term is always equal to zero. No, that's not true. You can have uh, the error term can have whatever number you want next to it. So or whatever number is needed by, by the formula. So this is right. This is kind of right too.